So a woman with a BMI of 32 would be considered obese. So being obese, she already enters into pregnancy at a higher risk for lots of different birth outcomes. And so while she might not be able to mitigate her risk of gestational diabetes and preeclampsia or hypertension during pregnancy, if her eating habits, if she presently does not have eating habits, and I'm going to make the assumption that she doesn't because her weight is pretty high, that it is beneficial for her to go ahead and change her eating habits for multiple reasons. One, changing her eating habits will probably result in better weight gain for her. And we know that the more women can gain the targeted amount of weight gain during pregnancy, the better chance they have of having a positive birth outcome, and then the less weight that they're going to have to lose in the postpartum period. The second reason is the fact that a better quality diet is going to make her feel better. She's going to have more energy during this pregnancy. And by cooking better during pregnancy and eating better during pregnancy, she's going to be able to take that skill set with her into the postpartum period and in the complementary feeding period for her child, such that she can translate that skill and knowledge to helping her child have healthier eating habits as it starts its life off. So, in fact, what you're basically saying is that the baby was born preterm. So it wasn't just that it had low birth weight, but it was actually a preterm baby. Right. And so preterm birth is the one birth outcome where we have stronger evidence for a relationship between dietary patterns and um, you know, being associated with preterm birth. And so in fact, there I would say, yes, if we could get you to eat a healthier dietary pattern that is looking at eating more fruits and vegetables, whole grains, seafood, nuts and legumes, and, and vegetable oils, which is what the patterns um, in the literature are showing us that tend to be associated with a lower risk of preterm birth, then she probably has a better chance. It's not 100% guaranteed because nothing is. These are relationships that are associated. The one study that you know had a, an amazing outcome was one done in Norway by Dr. Corey, which basically did a randomized trial and took women um, in the, from Norway that had pretty decent diet, but then gave them a healthier pattern diet by increasing those types of foods that I just mentioned. And she was able to reduce the prevalence of preterm birth in that group drastically. While she wasn't powered, it was an amazing observation that a lot of people now are trying to duplicate.